Welcome to the session Digital Process Automation with SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management. My name is Thomas Vollmering and I'm heading product management for BPM and workflow at SAP. Today, I will start with giving you a short introduction about the customer problems we are solving with digital process automation. I will talk about the SAP Cloud Platform Extension Suite and workflow management as a cloud platform service offering. I will introduce you to specific customer examples, show some cool demos, and talk about business content that we ship to accelerate process automation journeys. You probably have heard already much about the mission of SAP to enable the intelligent enterprise. To put it simply, the intelligent enterprise is a strategy that uses the latest technologies to turn data into insights and finally into action across business processes. The core of these business processes from an intelligent trading partner network for source to pay to a customer centric digital supply chain for design to operate is delivered by SAP's powerful packaged business applications. They offer the highest degree of end to end automation that you can expect. But what about the 20% of non standard business processes that are usually covered by islands of automation in your company or that are not well automated and integrated at all. Let's go the last mile of automation. SAP wants to support organizations in a variety of workflow scenarios like financial data collections, incident and situation handling, invoice approvals, and so on and so forth. The processes that you typically build on top of packaged applications on your own. And here's the problem statement. Though from a high level perspective, these workflows look simple. In fact, you will find that the process problems can be quite complex, that today, most of these processes are either still paper based or too manual. This creates errors, inefficiency, and a lot of cost. You already know SAP's integration suite, the very successful integration technology of SAP. We have recently launched the extension suite in order to simplify the development of application extensions. The extension suite covers the topics of digital experience, developer efficiency, and digital process automation. In digital process automation, we enable workflow management, robotic process automation, and process mining for process insights, and deliver process content as improvement accelerators. Process automation helps you to automate, enhance, and adapt business processes from structured workflows to unstructured, repetitive tasks as digital workers, as robots, in end-to-end -end processes. With predefined process content packages, we help business experts to configure process templates for greater flexibility and deliver process visibility dashboards tailored to the need to focus on business outcomes. SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management is a cloud service that comprises of the following capabilities, workflow for developers and business experts to build workflow and manage process variants, business rules for decision management, process visibility for live process analytics, and plug and play workflow dashboards, and an inbox service to allow central access to your tasks across workflows and provider systems. Here is a look at the big picture in the SAP landscape. We integrate and can be integrated with REST APIs. We integrate across business applications, SAP and non-SAP with cloud platform integration. We have launched recently the process flexibility cockpit in order to allow business experts and key users to discover pre-built workflow content packages and manage and configure process variants. We integrate seamlessly with SAP Conversational AI for digital assistance, with SAP Intelligent Robotic Process Automation for end-to-end -end automation scenarios, and with Room by SAP to empower and embrace casual business users within workflow creation and collaborative process automation. Let us now take a closer look at customer examples for capital expenditure approvals. 
We started to work in 2019 with the companies Deliver Hero and Danone on different implementation projects for capital expenditure. Later onwards, we decided to publish a dedicated process content package with templates for this process problem. This is one of the most common process problem as capital investments are part of, the, uh, of every enterprise business strategy. Capital expenditures involve reviews and approvals across many different levels of an organization, up to 10 approval levels, depending on the type and nature of the investment. And let's now take a look at the first demo of capital expenditure approvals with SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management. Let us start our journey in the SAP API Business Hub, the central place to discover and consume digital content packages from SAP. As I told you before, we have recently added workflow management content in there. And if you go and explore what we offer here, you find around 20, 21 content packages. The list is growing. And uh, you will find capital expenditure approvals, uh, maintain purchase info record, vendor onboarding, product change management, purchase requisition approval. So workflow extensions on ECC or S4, some visibility uh, content packages with templates for uh, order to cash visibility, accounts receivable, accounts payable with action workflows in there, and also integrations into, for instance, S, uh, SAP HANA, for business rules, SAP S4HANA for business rules, Qualtrics integration with process visibility of workflow management. There's also integration for process visibility with SAP S4HANA and S4HANA Cloud. Um, and uh, if you take a look and explore these content packages, you will find what kind of artifacts as are part of such a content package, like for instance, the process visibility scenario with out of the box process performance indicators that you can then freely configure or business rules or also the process steps that are part of a process template that we ship. And then you can use this to basically configure your own scenario. What we also offer is, and let's take a look at this, uh, are some samples that we ship via GitHub. So for instance, sample workflow start and task UIs, some data models with cloud application programming and visibility action workflows. And if you click on this link, you will find the documentation of these samples and the sources that you are, you are free to use as samples in your configuration. Let us now take a look at what happens if you get SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management, the license, and you provision the service into your global account and attendance, you will have the process flexibility cockpit. And there you can discover the packages that I just mentioned, and you can basically go and import them into your process flexibility cockpit. And if you do that, you basically can start to configure your uh, your workflows, your processes with process variants. And here, for instance, you will see that we have already configured four variants. You can hit this button and configure a new process variant. And if you take a look at what you can do there, this is a business expert tooling uh, to decide I need more approvals, I need less approvals. Uh, these are actually workflow building blocks that are shipped as part of the content package and that you also as a customer in your IT department, you can add more kind of process steps to that. You can also choose to, as a business expert, use this generic extension stack, step, for instance, for a document approval. And then say document approval the details, which kind of workflow do you want to trigger here, for instance. Yeah, and then uh, the process can be uh, uh, embedded into the process variant. Let's not save this and just go back and very quickly demonstrate the power of, of business rules in there in the process flexibility cockpit. We ship also decisions, business rules for decisions. And here, for instance, yeah, uh, if you click on determine all approvals, you will see the decision diagram that explains to you, okay, if there are the investment details trigger actually workflow, either with a workflow form or with a bot, or later you will see in the second part of the demo also with a, a room 
uh, a collaboration of business users uh, for an investment decision. So different kind of uh, ways how you can basically trigger a workflow. Uh, then uh, rules are used to determine all approvals. Either you have an auto approval policy and the auto approval policy is pretty simple. In that sense that it is a simple text rule. If then else, yeah. If the investment is higher than 1,000 euros or 10,000 euros, a specific value, then you basically need an approval. If it is lower, then you don't need an approval and it's auto approved. Of course, you can also have more complex decisions as part of the decision or the rules package here. For instance, manual approval policies. This can be in a decision table. And you see, this is an easy decision table that we uh, ship and you can extend it. Uh, and it's the same kind of logic if then else. So if the investment detail is planned and the country code is Germany, and then these kind of user groups have to approve here are the, uh, the user IDs and the emails and so on and so forth. So here, this is how you can use rules in your process configuration. The visibility scenario, so how can you configure actually your dashboard so that your business users get this kind of process visibility on top of uh, workflow. Uh, and I will show you later a little bit more details about that. So the configuration here is fairly simple. You go into visibility scenarios and here for capital expenditure approval, you can choose you want to add the workflow for capital expenditure, add another additional process template. You want to additionally to the workflow use Qualtrics survey and transactional data coming from Qualtrics that you want to correlate into your dashboard or any kind of observed process on an observable business event from a backend system that you want to correlate together with your workflow. You can configure that. If the visibility dashboard runs plug and play on your workflow, it provisions the events automatically from the workflow and the context. And then you can start configuring the correlations, different kind of phases, status. So when, uh, what is the threshold uh, for the status or substatus critical, at risk, on track, and so on and so forth. Different kind of attributes. And if there are attributes in the dashboard, for instance, number of instances, uh, that shall be uh, 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 navigational so that you can configure a navigation link actions so that upon a negative sentiment in the workflow. So for instance, the threshold violation has happened or so you can notify a business admin or a process admin with a workflow or restart the whole approval. So you can choose to do basically trigger workflow actions or navigate into, for instance, a backend system uh, with a push button and change business data in an SAP system so that the workflow can continue faster and amplified. And then finally, you configure also the process performance indicators. What's the look and feel of the dashboard? So is it a bar chart, a donut chart, a column chart, and so on and so forth? Uh, what kind of data, what kind of filters are used? And you see here, these are the predefined uh, process performance indicators that we ship here, for instance, for capital expenditure approval. Of course, you can add additional kind of process performance indicators here as well. So that's the configuration of the dashboard. Let's now take a look at the process in action. Let's use this kind of button that I have here. So I do not need to type in the form manually. I will just simply say a building in Berlin. We are requesting with this form, this is a workflow form that you will see also later in the workflow editor, how you can very simply configure very quickly a form. Of course, we can also use the SAP UI 5. You can add attachments and can you know, increase the complexity of your user interface for the workflow task UI, or the whole thing can be triggered with an intelligent RPA bot or with a collaboration in Room. I'll show you this later. But let's, for the time being, use this simple form. I have added actually the capital expenditure, the OPEX, total cost, and so on, also sustainability data. Uh, and then I request the approval. Let's now take a look at my Gmail inbox. And here in my Gmail inbox, I see I get an update. Give it a second here for Berlin. 
end as a local manager so we are routing in all our demos of course all different work items into the same kind of inbox so that we do not have to switch between five or six inboxes uh, depending on the level of approvals that are necessary and here you see the form that is sent to me in the in, in the notification and i can click on this link and navigate directly to my inbox as the central place to manage my task the task center so to say and here you see i have a lot of requests i have also the latest task that is coming here from my request for berlin uh, and before I walk you through that, I also want to show you very quickly that we can leverage here conversational AI. You can simply say, hey, and then the uh, digital assistant, which is SAP conversational AI, will basically communicate with me and say, you can, uh, you know, uh, uh, take a look at your tasks, at all your tasks. It doesn't make a lot of sense because I'm already in the inbox, but I'm interested in where do these tasks actually come from? What are the scenarios and the workflows that create all of these tasks? So the conversation AI is communicating to the process visibility capability of SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management. I can take a look at capital uh, expenditure approval and I want to be informed, you know, uh, what are the open instances uh, status right now for all of the workflows that I have and now um, uh, with the response of you know uh, critical is one at risk is three and on track 218 I get a lot of uh, open requests I can directly navigate to the process visibility dashboard so in the role of a process manager and an expert user I will now navigate into the dashboard and I see all open investments I see total investments, I see open requests, and somewhere here I also have the number of work requests or rework, sorry, rework requests by the vice president, and that's of course pretty costly if something like this happens. I will take a look into this, into the detail, and you see that there are a lot of uh, things that are still on track, but that have been requested for, for rework, and we uh, take a look at an instance of such a workflow that is happening. And here you see all of the uh, content, the context data coming from uh, uh, coming from the uh, from the workflow. You see also the phases that have been communicated. So local manager approval, vice president approval, sustainability manager approval, and also the different kind of events that have happened here. You see the path uh, that the workflow took and the work uh, rework request actually that has happened. And if there are any action logs you see multiple times i have actually asked to increase the priority i can still do this so you increase the priority from medium priority to high priority that is an, a visibility action that has been configured prior in the uh, process visibility dashboard configuration so how is this being built let us take a look at the business application studio and this is the place actually where the developer builds the different kind of uh, workflows uh, and exposes also workflow uh, 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 components, building blocks to the expert to configure. So let us take a look at uh, this here, at the capital expenditure approval. So this workflow is the most complex implementation that we are that we can take a look at so you see the different kind of building blocks of an approval so this is approval of the local manager if we go at the beginning of the workflow you see that this is triggered actually by the payload by the start ui and then the requester is informed uh, you see also that there are some ta some service tasks. So you see this is a business process model and rotation modeler. You have different kind of events like start and intermediate and end event. You have different kind of tasks like user tasks, service tasks, script tasks, and different kind of gateways. And this is how we basically model the whole process then with loops and, and uh, uh, the different kind of uh, flow execution. And here, if you have, for instance, the approval of the local manager, you go to the interface. This is where the uh, form is actually embedded here. Yeah, 
this is the easy form that you have seen in the demo. This is embedded in the workflow. So if you want to do rapid prototyping, you very quickly create some, some fields in there and so on that is part of the workflow, then the developer can do that. What's more is that what you have seen as the business expert tooling in the process flexibility cockpit, of course, the, the work, the, uh, the um, developer can add more building blocks and more steps uh, and we abstracting actually from the very complex process, uh, a process step in such an underlying technical model. So this is one approval. And you have also a finalization process step that is pre-thought that is fairly simple. Yeah? And of course, these uh, uh, process models and workflow models are provisioned as parts of the template in the template editor. So if I go here into the template editor, the process step can be chosen like approval. And then actually also the process attributes can be added here. And you can combine them then into a process variant and push to the process flexibility cockpit so that a business expert uh, in a low code, no code environment can basically then use them. That's the, uh, the way that uh, a factory approach can also happen. So that for instance, the developer can say, you know, I want a specific uh, process step to be available for the key user, for the business expert. And then you provision this out of the SAP Business Application Studio to the process flexibility cockpit. And if we go back again to the process flexibility cockpit, you probably will identify again, if I go to capital expenditure here, these process steps in here, like approval, initialization, and finalization. So this concludes the first part of the demo. Let me now introduce you to Room by SAP. Room has started as an innovative work management solution for casual business users. With Room by SAP for process management, we are now fully empowering business users in an intuitive, no-code environment to build and run scenarios and integrate them to standard business processes and workflows. How can Room by SAP improve the overall process flow for capital expenditure? First, we enable casual business users to collaboratively request a new investment. This will trigger the standard CapEx workflow. The room can be built by business directly or by business technologists as room templates. Second, as many times the requester has no clue about financial or sustainability expert data and needs to work with experts to derive this data, let's integrate this in the process instead of creating siloed work in spreadsheets and inboxes. Let us now look at the second demo of a room enabled capital expenditure. Let me now show you how you can create an investment request for a new office building in SAP Room and see how, how it seamlessly integrates within the overall capital expenditure process. So this process variant is triggered with an investment request in SAP Room. Then based on the configuration of the business rule, the uh, local manager and the vice president can approve or it's order approved. And then the sustainability director can directly approve or collaboration can happen in SAP room to collect missing sustainability data. And then finally, the uh, approval by the purchasing director uh, will happen. So now in this room enabled capital expenditure process, we are using a specific business rule. For order approval. Here for buildings in Germany, uh, the vice president and the local manager will not have to approve if the request comes from Thomas Vollmering uh, out of the user group business. And the reason is that actually Thomas has the most capacity and the most um, budget from all the teams. Now let's take a look at how we create uh, such an investment request in Room. So uh, as Thomas, I'm now opening the room to create the initial investment request. 
I see the investment proposal uh, form in SAP Room and I will start with actually providing my credentials here. I request a name and actually also my email address. The type is office, the business unit is BPM, the country is Germany, the description I will enhance a bit, please, I need new office space for team code monkeys. Before I can kick off the workflow, I have to invite a financial expert to basically get input on financial data, on operational expenses, uh, total cost and the uh, return on investment and so on and so forth. I will invite for this purpose the financial expert, which is my colleague Diana. And I will ask Diana to please help with the numbers. As I have invited Diana, we are now setting this task here to complete and in a discussion with her we figured out the capital expenditure will be roughly 100,000 euros, 20,000 euros for operational expenses, so the overall budget we need will be 120,000 and now we can kick off the workflow. Now let's take a look at my inbox where you remember the configuration of the business rules directly the sustainability director will get this request. He sees actually the form that has uh, uh, kicked off actually the workflow and uh, in my inbox I get the task uh, to approve or reject. is complete now. Uh, I see that the sustainability data is missing and uh, that the local manager and vice president did not have to approve. So I will say collaborate on the missing sustainability data and I hit the collaboration button. Now, of course, all of the uh, you know, uh, steps of the process have led to notifications. So I see that you know, as a requester, I got uh, a simple notification uh, that uh, the request has been created. Then the uh, sustainability director got this kind of notification. And now SAP Room will send us actually, or me as the requester, the notification to go to the room to collaborate on the missing data. So let's start now uh, this room and see this is the form for the sustainability information collection. And the first thing that I notice is that I have to fill in sustainability information. I'm supposed to schedule uh, a meeting with our sustainability expert. So we are going to invite the sustainability expert whose name is Frederick, ask for help. And now, of course, uh, we are meeting and we will take a look at uh, the data that's missing. So I have scheduled a meeting. We discussed the sustainability impact and let me say water savings will be really great. It will be 12%, CO2 is 3%. Savings, energy cost is really massive, it's 41% and the energy efficiency will be increased by 20%. And now uh, we can jointly review this. We can also here create some set tasks and add comments here. For instance, if we want to invite Diana into the conversation. Okay. ask her for additional help and then let's go and say 
we jointly review and approve this. So once we have done this, the sustainability director will get also a notification and then finally say, okay, looks great and approve. Now, if you remember the last step in the overall process, the purchasing director will basically have to approve. So let's go back into the inbox, refresh. And here you see this is all the data this, that was collect, collected from the initial investment request. The sustainability data is now in. You see actually the history coming from the workflow log. And then you basically can say, all right, okay, approved. Finally, of course, we will receive the final notifications. That the whole investment request and capital expenditure workflow for office space extension has been fully approved. Let us now take a look at the topic of live process content packages. As you have seen in the first demo already, these content packages are available for discovery in SAP API Business Hub and can be used within SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management. They contain templates for process variants, workflows, pre-built business rules and dashboards, dashboard configurations for plug and play workflow visibility, and you can explore them on SAP API Business Hub. Here again is a snapshot of some selected packages. Extensions to SAP ERP core component, ECC, S4HANA or composite workflows with own data model and business logic. The list of packages will grow over time as we have invited partners and SAP applications to add content packages with powerful out of the box SAP UI5 user interfaces, cloud application programming models and workflows as samples. At this point in time, let me summarize my lecture. Why should you consider workflow management? This is an enterprise ready, scalable service offering to digitalize and automate workflows, manage decisions and gain end-to-end -end process visibility. We have predefined live process content packages they come with pre-delivered integrations into SAP and non-SAP applications. What I did not focus on today, we also support hybrid workflow implementations with workflow extension points and APIs to the ABAP world in ECC and S4HANA, the old SAP business workflow. You can leverage integrated digital bots and assistants. You can leverage integrated Quadric sentiment data of transactional surveys for contextual awareness in your workflow. And let us not forget one of the most important benefits. By using workflow management from SAP, you gain speed and flexibility while ensuring ongoing compliance with business rules and policies with embedded visibility and audit trails. Start today, check out the different resources listed here to get started with tutorials and missions in the SAP Discovery Center. Get engaged in the SAP community, explore our pre-built content and try it out. Please also take a look at the related deep dive sessions into content packages, workflow management, how to build a workflow from scratch, build a digital assistant for workflows and integrate Qualtrics experience management solutions into workflows and workflow visibility. Continue your learning experience from SAP TechEd now in 2020. Here is your path to more knowledge. Deepen your learning experience, activate your free access to SAP Learning Hub uh, and learn. Thank you for attending this session. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you.
Thank you.